Let's get RetroArch 130 up and running on your Android device. Head to the Play Store and search for RetroArch. You're looking for this listing right here. Go ahead and install it. If anything pops up about permissions, go ahead and accept them. Once that's downloaded and installed, click open or tap open. Once it extracts its assets, you'll be dumped to a menu like this. First place to head, online updater. Online updater, then core updater. To get to any of these menus, you'll tap on them and it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. You need to double tap. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So once you're in the core updater though, these are all the systems that you can emulate and use in RetroArch. There are a bunch, some of them are duplicates, so, but go ahead and just double tap on any of these that you want, and they will go ahead and start downloading, and once they're done download, they will extract. I'm going to download that one, I'm going to download the Game Boy Advance, shouldn't take too long, alright, cool, cool. Alright, once you're done with that, you can go back to the main menu, then you're going to load core. Go ahead and load up whatever system you're going to want to emulate. And then go to the load content option. Select file. Now this is where it gets confusing, but usually the third option is the right option. Because once you select it, you'll see a list of folders on your Android device, like documents, download, etc, etc. Most of the games you'll download will end up in the download folder. Now, how do you get games? That's easy enough. Fire up the web browser and go to emuparadise.mobi. And either at the top of the screen or over on the left hand side you'll see a section that's ROMs, ISOs, and games. Go ahead and go there. Once you're in there you'll see a list of all the systems. And I, whoops, didn't mean to click on 32x, not yet at least. I'm going to go scroll down to Game Boy Color. Once you're there, you'll pick a letter. So I'm going to go ahead and pick P. And scroll down, and there is Pokemon Yellow. Once you get to that page, you'll see Quick Navigation. One of them will be Download Links. So go ahead and click on that, and that will take you to Direct Download. Play Online only works on a desktop, not on Android. Let's go ahead and hit Download. Scroll down again until you see direct download and then the link under direct download go ahead and click on that and It will start downloading. I've already done that. So I'm going to cancel that And I'm going to go back to RetroArch And you'll see in my download folder. I have the zip file now if it's zipped You'll have to open the archive as a folder and then double tap on the game and it will begin playing now, your controller may look different from mine. I have mine set up already to use a Game Boy controller instead of the generic one that comes out of the box. If you want to change it, it's easy enough. Just hit the little retro arc icon here in the center. Go back to the main menu, and on the bottom, click on the little gear. In the settings menu, go to on screen overlay, overlay preset game pads and then choose the system that you want I was in Game Boy so I'll just choose Game Boy and then the configuration file and then I can go back to the little home icon quick menu and resume the content with my new controller now if you do rotate your device you will notice the controls are sort of funny looking they may be squished up at the top you'll see this rotate icon Go ahead and tap that, and that should fix the controls. That should be all there is to it. Happy gaming!